Hi and welcome to my maths class. In today's video we're going to discuss expansion or the product of algebraic expressions. Now what this means is if I'm given an equation how do I go about removing these brackets? Now before you start the section you need to be familiar with the concept of signs, numbers and unknowns. If you are not familiar with these sections, please refer to our previous videos. In order to get rid or to remove the brackets, we use different concepts. Now the first concept we're going to learn today is called the distributive law. Now distributive law is exactly what it's saying. The answer is in the name. If you've got a packet of sweets and you're going to distribute it to your class, you're going to give every child in the class. You're not going to miss out one. Now that is what we are doing here. We are taking the A and we are distributing it to every child in the class. In other words, it's a B and C. Now how do I know where do I distribute and where don't I distribute? What you need to be familiar with is the concept of terms. Now a term is separated by plus or minus. If I give you A plus B then I have two terms. But if I give you AB then I have one term. Now when we are distributing something from the outside to the inside of the bracket we need to make sure that that unknown that is outside or that number that is outside needs to go to every term inside. So in other words, the A would go to the B and the C. So this would be AB plus AC. If you are given a term that is made out of three pieces, in other words, if I given you A into a B plus C. The distributive law says that the number outside or the term outside goes to every term inside. Meaning that this A outside will go to A B and will go to C. It will not go to A and B and C. So your final answer is a squared B plus AC. It is not A squared AB plus C. It does not go to every piece but rather to every term. So it is better that you understand where does it go to. The best way is to draw a line between your two terms. It's like a wall saying that the one term has nothing to do with the other term. Let's take the following example. 3x into x squared plus 5x. Now which terms would this 3x multiply with? If you see your wall is by the a. Then you're going to take the 3x and you're going to multiply it with the x squared you're going to take your 3x and you're going to multiply it with your 5x. So you are distributing the outside algebraic expression with every algebraic expression inside, but every term inside. Now when we're doing the distributive law, the first rule you need to remember, but you have to distribute to every term. So it is best that you draw a wall. When you're distributing, you need to consider the rules of signs, numbers and unknowns. When we are distributing, the rules of sign, numbers and unknowns are the multiplication rules that we are emphasizing on. Last, when you are neatening off
then you're going to also use your signs numbers and unknowns but then you are using your addition and subtraction rules let us do the following example we have 3x squared into minus 2x to the power 4 plus 4xp minus 3p so first we're going to put in our walls now we're going to distribute so we're going to take the outside term and we're going to distribute it with every term inside then we're going to apply the signs numbers unknowns so if we take a positive times a negative we got negative 3 times 2 is 6 x to the power 2 times x to the power 4 is x to the power of 6 then we're going to say this is a positive so positive times positive gives us a positive 4 times 3 is 12 x to the power 2 times x is x to the power 3 and we have a p then the last one is a positive times a negative gives us a negative 3 times 3 is 9 x to the power 2 p let us do an example that would use all three rules x into 2x squared plus 5x minus 1x squared plus 2x now if we are going to distribute we're going to put in our wall we're going to take the algebraic expression outside and distribute it to every term inside using signs numbers and unknowns we're going to end up with 2x to the power 3 minus 5 x to the power 2 minus 1 x to the power 3 plus 2 x to the power 2 now in doing that I had used rule number 1 where I drew a wall and then I distributed then I use multiplication signs numbers and unknowns now when you look at the question and you realize that the unknowns are the same then you have to add or subtract now 2 minus 1 is going to equal to 1 positive coming from the 2 so it's equal to positive 1 x to the power 3 and if we take x to the power 2 and x to the power 2 the 2 that we have minus 5 plus 2 is equal to minus 3 x to the power 2 now you will notice when we used rule number 3 the unknowns stayed the same and yet when we were using rule number 2 the unknowns changed these are common mistakes your final answer is 1x to the power 3 minus 3x to the power 2. Thank you for watching this video.